Hi, my name is Ann Sarah Pabanga, and my daughter had a kidney transplant when she was a baby. I'm here today to share with you why I've chosen to vaccinate my daughter. Ever since I learned that she had chronic kidney disease, I've been trying to do everything I can to make sure she's as healthy as possible. That means that I follow all of her doctor's guidelines on vaccinations. And I'm really glad that we have kept up to date on that schedule because there's some vaccines that she couldn't get after her kidney transplant. Now that she's had her transplant, we make sure that she does everything that she's supposed to do, like taking her daily medications, drinking lots of water, um, wearing her sunscreen, and also keeping up to date on her annual flu shot and her COVID vaccinations. As a transplant mom, I get very worried when I hear in the news about vaccine preventable illnesses like measles and polio that are starting to circulate a little bit more. I get worried for my daughter because I worry that she will contract one of those illnesses and her immunosuppressed body won't be able to fight them off. For this reason, I really encourage you to talk to your child's physician. They are the best source of information on vaccination. And I really hope that you will choose to vaccinate your child. In that way, you can help prevent vaccine preventable illnesses from spreading and you can protect kids like my daughter. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Jill Warko. I'm a pediatric nephrologist at Yale New Haven Children's Hospital. I take care of kids with chronic kidney disease, end-stage kidney disease, including kids who are on dialysis and kidney transplant. My job today is to talk to you a little bit about how important it is to make sure your kids have routine vaccines in the setting of having kidney disease or being on dialysis or being a transplant patient. Um, you know, things that come up a lot in kids who have chronic kidney disease and are on dialysis is that they are more vulnerable to getting sick. Um, fortunately, in some cases, we have vaccines that can prevent illness or at least make the illness more manageable, such as vaccines against flu or chicken pox. Um, and it's really important that your child stays up to date with these vaccines. Um, we know that if you can avoid getting ill, that it can prolong the life of kidneys and chronic kidney disease, it can make dialysis a lot smoother, and it can protect a transplanted kidney. I know there's a lot of information out there about vaccines, and it can be really hard as a parent to figure out what's true and what is not true and what applies to your kid. Um, so as a pediatric nephrologist, I really welcome any and all questions. Um, I think when parents ask me questions, sometimes I know the answers and sometimes I don't. And I think that you know, these are all conversations that we can have and be, you know, keep things as open and honest as possible. But what we do know is that vaccines prevent illness and that illness, prevention of illness can help kids stay healthier and be more successful, especially in the setting of kidney disease and especially in the setting of dialysis or transplant. We look forward to talking with our families as we continue to build our relationships to make your child as healthy and make you feel like you're making the best and safest choices for your child. Hi, my name is Jason Newland, and I'm a pediatric infectious diseases physician at Washington University in St. Louis. I'm super excited to be talking to you today about the importance of vaccine for children, all children, especially for children with kidney disease. You know, vaccines have really revolutionized healthcare. My dad, who's now 73 years of age, was born in 1950, told me, he says, you know, Jason, your grandmother wouldn't let me and my four brothers go swim in the summertime because of the fear of polio virus, right? Polio virus caused, caused paralysis. And so he wasn't allowed to go swimming until he remembers standing in line to get his polio virus vaccine. And that's changed. We don't worry about going to the swim pool in the summer because there isn't polio virus in our country. Additionally, I was talking to one of my great partners who, who was working in the 1980s, and there's this bacteria called Haemophilus influenza type B. And that bacteria led to every week they would see a child that would have meningitis, an infection around the spinal column or around the spinal cord. And, and he says, you know, Jason, it was revolutionary revolutionary when the Haemophilus influenza type B vaccine came out because those kids no longer were seen because they didn't have this horrible, horrible life-altering infection. And I think of my own career back in the early 2000s when I was taking care of a lot of babies that had these diarrheal illnesses called rotavirus. 
and we just washed our hands and took care of them. And they got really sick and needed to be in the hospitals to get fluids because they were dehydrated in. You know what? We don't talk about rotavirus anymore because vaccines work and are safe and do a fantastic job. Now, we all know that the pandemic really made things scary because of all the different things and all this information that we can get a hold of and some is right and some is wrong. And we just don't know. And so we've seen a decrease in vaccine uptake and, and getting people vaccinated, but that's getting better. Um, and I think part of that's just because of there's just a lot more confusion and, and that's understandable and it's okay to have questions. And, and unfortunately, because of that, we've seen some vaccine preventable illnesses like measles reemerge and last Last year, there was an emergence of a measles outbreak in Columbus, Ohio, about 85 cases. And that's scary because measles can actually cause really, really bad harm to, to children. And so we need to be vaccinating. And these vaccines, including the COVID vaccine and influenza vaccine, are super important, especially for children that have underlying illnesses or conditions like kidney disease and chronic kidney disease. So I really encourage all of you to get back, get your children vaccinated. I also encourage you to ask questions. It's okay. It's okay to have questions. Ask your nephrologist, ask your pediatrician, ask your trusted clinicians those questions you have about vaccines because they are important. They are life-saving. And importantly, they've changed healthcare so that we all can be safe. Thanks for listening. And remember, through vaccination, we can prevent dangerous viruses from circulating in our society. If you have any questions, please make sure to talk to your child's physician about vaccination. Thank you so much.